it's Friday and yes, I'm supposed to be working. I am kind of working. I've been texting back and forth to my coworkers. One of them had cows running through her yard that weren't hers. Yeah, I live in Kansas, so that's a thing. So here it is. Here's my progress. This strange window just popped up and my tweezers are on the floor. Oh my God, I'm a mess. Where'd they go? Found them. Anyway, let me get rid of this pop-up window here. What is this? Good gravy. <laughs> You're like, Rebecca. It's called, I don't know, I just, my computer's doing all these weird things this morning. Okay, I'm back. So, oh, it's upside down. Sorry, guys. I want to show you the progress. Oh, I'm almost done with this. I can't wait to be done with this thing. Okay, here it is. Love and roses, yes. So I just got this area up here. I've got like little bandages on it. I don't know what this is gonna keep away. Or, you know, anyway. So, I've been working on it. Yep. Isn't it pretty? It looks much better on camera than... Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, so, here's the rub. Um, I'm at home, as we all are, for Corona Geddon. Yes, I renamed it Corona Geddon. Well, I think probably somebody else renamed it. Let me get the microphone out of the way. I actually I want to get it so you guys can hear me with my crazy talk. All right, let's just get this arranged so you can see the painting. Oh my god, there's another window popping up. What is going on here? No, I do not want to renew right now. Why, when I'm filming, do all these nonsense come up? Anyway, I'm using Crashly's flower pen. Clay flower pen. I love it. All right, where was I? Before I was so rudely interrupted by the pop-up window. Um, so, I am working, yes, working from home. I've already texted uh, my coworkers who are also probably not doing much of anything. Um, Cause there really is not much to do. Um, one of them said her husband is typing so loudly that she can't think. Uh, so we're gonna send her some earphones. Um, I didn't even know she was married, frankly. And there's another one of those daggum windows. Okay, I know you don't see the windows. I see the windows, and it's frankly annoying. Um, so, so, and then another one said she had heifers running through her yard. So I'm picturing like the Hooters and Heifers gang running through this woman's yard. You know, Marissa, me, <laughs> Crashly, we're all running through this woman's yard. Well. It's Kansas. She lives on a farm, and there are actual cows running through her yard. Um, I did not know cows running through your yard could be a thing, but apparently. Yeah, so last night was super cold and windy. Oh my god, I thought I was going to blow away. The wind actually, because I have my windows closed, I knew the cold was coming. Um, it got so windy that it woke me up because I, I thought it was just gonna come through the window. And, I mean, it didn't, but it was so windy. And then this morning when I woke up, holy moly, it was freezing outside. Yesterday was this gorgeous spring day all these beautiful flowers that people have planted, you know, and I'm thinking, isn't this lovely? And today, it's freaking cold. Where have I moved to? It's okay, I still don't miss Florida. All right, so yes, love and roses, I'm working on this. I, um, oh, I'm an affiliate with Treasure Studios Arts, 
So I really do think, where is did this, how did this, oh, this, you know what? I'm wearing this sweater, and this is not a good sweater for this project. Look at this sweater I'm wearing, see? You can't, you can't see it real well, but now I have black fuzz on my painting. No! I might have to change my shirt, guys. Hold on. Oh. So what was I saying? Okay, I'm an affiliate with Treasure Studios Arts. Um, and there are some, you know, there's some stuff from the new artist uh, in the mail. You guys have probably ordered some too. Oh my God, what is this stuff? Oh God, if I showed you the stuff, guys. This is just a sign that I should be done with this painting, right? OMG. Well, that pair of tweezers is not working. Um, so I woke up this morning and, you know, of course, Mrs. Coffee is haunting me. You know, recommended, sneak peek, Diamond Art Club, you know, into the Wonderland. I'm like, oh shit, another Alice in Wonderland painting. Now, the universe knows that I love Alice in Wonderland and not this lint. Um, so, of course, you know, I'm the bitch that's got to watch it. You know, yes, I'm a fan. I'm a fan if you got a sneak peek going. Yes, I'm the bitch that's watching when there's a sneak peek. Okay, I admit it. But that's Diamond Art Club's fault, not mine. I think, I think that we're going to be okay, but I think I'm going to have to put on a different shirt, guys, because this black lint is going to be all over my painting. If not, please hold while we change the shirt. Okay, I'm back. Tootsie's in the room with us now, and I have changed my shirt. Huh. Okay, yes, I now have on a white t-shirt. No harm will come to this painting. But gosh darn it. Oh, boy. Anyway. Oh, uh, where was I? Oh, <sighs> Mrs. Coffee. Well, this is not about Mrs. Coffee. Uh, anyway, Diamond Art Club comes out today, you know, I guess tomorrow for Diamond and Ruby members' is gorgeous JoJo's Arts, Alice in Wonderland painting. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to resist. I've resisted up till now. I'll resist again. I just thought, you know, I have plenty of stuff to work on. I'm working on cross stitch. I'm working on diamond painting. I need this microphone where I can paint and talk into it at the same time. I have enough stuff to do. And I've got paintings on the way from various sources, so no need to panic. Um, and uh, truth be told, it's it's kind of a dark image, uh, not dark as in black dark, but dark as in the cat's got a really mean face. So, um, yeah, we're going to pass on that one. And then, poor Donnie. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this diamond. Poor Donnie. They give Donnie this silly little toucan, you know. They give... <laughs> Diamond Art Club gives Donnie a toucan. Poor thing. They couldn't give Donnie, the nice person, a, a, an Alice in Wonderland painting. They give her a toucan. Yeah, that that would have been me. I'd get the daggum toucan. And now I don't know what else is out there, because... It's still early on Friday, so there'll be a couple of other sneak peeks. Um, you know, great. it'll be Rachel and um, whoever, you know, Diamond Art Club is in love with this week. Um, <laughs> lately, it's just been Donnie, Rachel, and um, Mrs. Coffee, and I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if Stitcherisa is still diamond painting, to tell you the truth. She's doing a lot of cross-stitch, which... I love. I've been doing, I'm working on my cross stitch while I work out in the, in the living room. Um, so, I, I, <laughs> I sent somebody a text yesterday um, to talk about what I'm doing during 
uh, Corona Geddon here, and I mentioned that I was getting a lot of crafting done. Now this was in a text message. Well, apparently I left the C off the word crafting. So this person thought I'd been out rafting. <laughs> I was just laughed. I'm like, no, I don't live near a body of water where I can go rafting. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty funny. No, I'm not rafting. Um, I'm crafting. And I've got plenty of crafting to do. I've been loom knitting. Um, I'm almost, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much done with the scarf. I may do like one or two more rows. Um, and then I'm going to bind off. But I want to do it on camera so it's, you know, there for posterity. In case people are following along with me and they want to know how to bind off. Because um, I did start it on camera. So we will finish it on camera. And then I'm doing the cross stitch. It's a Alice in Wonderland stitch along. And I'm getting pretty. I'm still in chapter one, but, you know, it, it's going. I'm mastering. Um, it's hard because historically I've always been a one-handed cross stitcher. You know, in and out, in and out. You know, over the fabric, under the fabric. And it's just what I've been used to for 30 years. So now what I'm trying to do, get used to is going... You know, into, you can't see what I'm doing. Into the fabric with one hand, keep other hand under the fabric, and then just going, you know, using two hands. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm trying it. It's weird because it's, I've never done cross-stitching that way, but I think it makes it go a little faster. <sighs> I'm ready, um, I'm ready to like do something different, but I, said I was going to finish this diamond painting. Then I will probably finish the craftably diamond painting that I started in my Twitch stream um, Sunday. It's a snack thing, so I'll get that out. I'll finish that. And then I have another partial from Treasure Studios I want to work on. Um, I don't think I've ever shown it, so you haven't seen it. Um, I started it maybe back at Christmas time, so I want to get that back out. I'm just looking at people are all home and we're all bored. Not bored, but I mean, I have plenty to keep me busy. I'm going to take these band-aids off. I'm just, if you could see what I'm, well, you can see what I've been doing here. Just going from one spot to the other because I get bored. So I'm just taking all these little bandages off. And you can see what I have a little left because it's it's spotty. Like I did did some of this and did some of that. So like and I'm playing around. Like okay, let's outline the lettering. Let's uh, let's do checkerboarding over here. You know, over here we're gonna make a. I don't know. I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> yes. Um, where was I? Oh, the hearts. The hearts. I'm doing hearts. I actually borrowed these hearts from another kit, an Evermoment kit, because for some reason the dark colors on this painting, the dark drills, are full of metal bits. It's not the light drills. The light drills are just fine, but the dark drills suck. Um, I will tell Rachel so I can get them replaced. Um, you know, for when I go to do these Ever Moment kits and I don't have any, you know, one by fours left. I don't know why, I, you know, because I guess you don't always get the same drills from the same manufacturer or something. I don't know what the reason for that could be. And I'm sure there's a good reason. You know, I can just see China, okay, you know, this guy on this corner makes one by four and nine eighty nine. And 823, and this guy makes all the pinks, and this guy makes, you know, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Because we all know how many DMC colors there are. Or maybe it is just one manufacturer, and they just need to change out their molds on the dark drills. I don't know. And I'm not going to go to China to find out. I don't think 
anybody's going to be doing any traveling, anytime soon. I think we're all going to be sequestered in our homes at least for the rest of the year. Oh my God, people are putting up Christmas lights. First of all, I don't put up Christmas lights at Christmas. I'm not going to put them up now that it's not Christmas. Because then there's going to be a run on Christmas lights. What would be interesting is while everybody's buying Christmas lights, I could sneak over and buy toilet paper. Because eventually, if this thing goes on, I am going to need toilet paper. I mean, I'm okay for now, but I mean, how long is this thing going to last? I went to the hospital yesterday to, because I work at the hospital, like, but right now I'm not working. I am working. I'm actually waiting for a call from a doctor, which is why I got the cell phone right next to me. Um, because there's a complaint against him, I had to email him and tell him to please explain his actions. And so, um, right now he's in surgery, so I'm sure when he gets out of surgery, I'm going to get an earful. So I went to the hospital to pick up a prescription and the people up front in plain clothes, I, I honestly expected like to be greeted by um, people in full gear, you know, with these head things on and masks and gloves and you know, it's just people in plain clothes sitting at a desk. And they asked me, have you had a fever? No. Have you had a cough? No. Are you short of breath? Which, you know, you can see clearly I'm not. No. Okay. You can come in. I'm like, wait a minute. That's it? I thought they were going to, like, take a rectal temp or, you know, I don't know, something. But nope, nothing. Come on in. Weird. So weird. And I am not a Donald Trump fan, but yesterday during watching his news conference, I, you know, we just, my granddaughter turned on the TV and there he was. So, and it's like a train wreck. You just can't look away. And he was really funny because he told the reporters, he's like, because they're sitting in every other chair in the room, the reporters, and they're asking him, the dumbest questions. Like, this one lady asked him if he thought Chinese, the word, the, the phrase Chinese food was racist. Now, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I'm sorry, bad language. But what a dumb question. Um, <laughs> I don't even think he answered it because it was so stupid. So, so they're sitting in every other chair in this news conference and he says to them, you know, I don't think you guys are sitting far enough apart. You know, you're supposed to be six feet apart. And really, he says, you know, there's only three of you in this room that I really like, so I think I'm just going to get rid of the rest of you. I thought I was going to bust a gut laughing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of the rest of you. How funny is he? Oh. <sighs> He needs to like just turn it over to a doctor and just go hide in Mar-a-Lago somewhere. And uh, yeah, but he is funny. I mean, my God, that, that was funny. <clears throat> so I'm still doing hearts, hearts. Uh, I don't know what color I'll do next. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys. I am going to be doing my show tomorrow night with Tia and a friend of hers named Brendan. Um, he is a new co-host that she has, and he is an artist, and they have been doing some amazing work with sparklers. So we're going to see it, and we're going to talk about it, about how they do it. Maybe we'll learn something because I get these sparklers. I don't have any sparklers, but I have some ABs, some Diamond Dot ABs because I haven't ordered any sparklers. Tina's forum has not been open for a while. Once she opens that forum, then I'm going to be the first one. But 
I, I look at this and I go, where would I put them? Because I don't think artistically. I think I'm just putting down dots. Um, but if I had to put down dots, you know, artistically, I would probably fail. Because, like, they can look at a painting and go, oh, those would look here or here. I look at a painting and go, I don't see it. So maybe they're going to help me see it. Like, maybe in this rose, the white would have been pretty as a bees. I don't know. And maybe I will go back and do that. I don't know. These are squares. I don't have any square in these. So maybe not. But maybe they'll teach us something about how to do that process. Or maybe it'll just be a fun night. And I stepped over me. I know. I'm all over the place with this painting because I'm bored with it already. It's gorgeous. I'm just bored with it. Did you ever think you would hear me say that I'm bored with pink? No, but I am. Oh, okay. Um, what else was I going to talk about? So what else is going on? Um, I have enough toilet paper. I'm good. But everybody's working from home. I've got my granddaughter here. I have... I know every character on the Vampire Diaries and the 100 because we're watching both of them nonstop. I think she's sleeping right now. Um, and doing TikTok. Not me, but her. She's doing TikTok. I have not ventured into the TikTok world. I do Instagram. I do Twitch. I do YouTube. I do Facebook. But I'm staying away from TikTok. Anywho, what I thought would be interesting, if you're still watching, thank you, because I can be boring sometimes, but what I would love for you to do, and this would, I think, help other people put down what you guys are doing during this time. Are you, what are you binge watching? What are you reading? If you feel like it's interesting and other people might want to read it too, let me know in the comments so other people can also see what you're watching. And uh, that'll be interesting. Or what you're reading. I am actually, I have followed my therapist's recommendation of taking the television out of my bedroom. Now, I still have electronics in there because I take my iPad in there with me when I go to bed. Because I there's a couple of games that I like to play every evening. I play Pearl's Peril, which is a game where you find hidden objects. And and don't tell me you don't play because I've seen your names, guys. I've seen your names. I've seen Jen's name. I've seen Stephanie's name. I've seen you guys. You guys are playing it sometimes. Maybe you didn't get very far, but you've been playing it. Also, I play bingo. Um, I'm still just looking to see if there's any more hearts or if we can switch to another color for a little while. I think we can. So, yeah, I've been also playing bingo. I'll switch to 3834. Where are you? Oh, goodness, I have colors everywhere. 3834. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. I haven't found it. Is it? Uh, oh, I found it. I should have knocked another one over. Got it. Okay. Rescued. All right. I couldn't find it because it was in this little jar. Oh my God. 
AliExpress now has knockoffs of these Therese Ward containers. Um, that I think if you buy, there's three different sizes, and if you buy them, I didn't buy them because um, I have enough, but I think they run about 16 bucks. Um, I'm not positive because I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy them, but I'm curious if anybody's bought them, if they're as good as the Elizabeth Ward. Just curious. This, I don't have a lot more of this. I hope there aren't a lot more of this color to do. Anywho, that is getting a wrinkle in it right there. Uh oh. I best get this painting done. I haven't ordered anything off of AliExpress in a while because I ordered. I ordered something from Ever Moment before Ever Moment closed and for another person and that person they did get their painting. Now they were one for me and I have not gotten it yet. And it was right around the same time. And then I ordered a couple from I forget where it was from, but they have they've been shipped, but they're not here. I don't know where they're at and to be honest I'm not I really haven't been tracking them that close because they'll get here when they get here and I had a free one that I won and that is also in transit somewhere but if it ever gets here and it's in great condition I'm excited because it's a beautiful image um, and one that it's a little different than any I've ever done before. I don't usually pick out those type of paintings for myself. So, um, and like I said, I want it free. So it'll get here when it gets here. So I told you what's going on Saturday night. Sunday I um, will, for the third time, go live on Twitch at 11 a.m. So if you look in my Facebook group, it will tell you, um, I think it's, I don't think it's any big secret, it's crafting underscore journey. If you go ahead and sign up on Facebook and then follow crafting underscore journey, that's me. Now, I don't know enough to know if what I'm doing is being recorded. I press the record button, um, you know, whether you can go back and watch it, I, I probably should learn these things, but I haven't, and I will. But I did have quite a few people in the live last week, so that was encouraging. But you know, it's like your family. That yes, my family was there. They, you know, these are my family, and they came over, and they watched me. They supported me. Um, did I get any new Twitch people? Probably not, but I think that will come in time. That's a weird drill. It's easy. I mean, you do it through OBS, same as, you know, YouTube. You just have to do it through a Twitch stream. And then make sure that you press start streaming, same as YouTube. I really think OBS was geared more for Twitch than YouTube. I, I prefer StreamYard for YouTube, but that's because I'm adding guests into my live, and you really can't do that with OBS. And none of you, if, if you're not creators, have any idea what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Move along, just fast forward another few frames. Uh, so my 500 subscriber giveaway is still on hold. I have not forgotten about it. Um, I promised someone in Ever Moment up to fifty dollars if Ever Moment ever opens back up, which you know there have been no new cases of coronavirus in China, according to whoever. I don't know where they get these stories from, but. Um, if that's true, then we should start seeing some movement in China. 
maybe ever moment will open their doors again. You know, I don't know if you guys have ordered from Ever Moment, but seriously, guys, their diamonds are beautiful. It, I don't know if you do squares or rounds. Ever Moment is squares, but they're gorgeous. They just go together nicely. There's not a lot of trash. You don't have popping drills. Um, I just enjoy an Ever Moment painting. I think I have done all this color in the whole painting. No way. That would be nice. I think I need to work on the diamonds, so the diamond colors. Yep. Let's get the diamond color out. Yeah, there it is. Is that it? No. That's not it. Oh, here they are. I found them. Okay, we're at 24 minutes. I have babbled. So, I've got plenty of food. My, uh, we decided this morning my granddaughter would go ahead and stay with me. Because my son is, now he's working every other week. Which is so weird. Um, before he was just going to work one day a week. And now they've decided, the military has decided uh, senior leadership will alternate weeks. So... This is his week. He'll have next week off. So Malia will go home next week. I don't know that they have worked out a system for the school yet. Um, home school wise. Because this week is spring break. So she's not missing anything this week. But next week. Um, you know because I have one grandson that was just made the baseball team so there's no more baseball and then Malia was playing volleyball so there's no volleyball um yeah I feel bad for these kids the ones that were supposed to graduate they're not going to have a prom they're not going to have graduation these are all things that you know we kind of took for granted we all had it um it's kind of like it's part of growing up that you have those things and there's kids that aren't going to get those things and I feel bad. Why is my computer binging? Oh, it's showing me all, all the things I could be watching on Twitch that I'm not watching. <laughs> all the games and messages from my friends. So... So I did a lot of talking about nothing, but I think it would be helpful to a lot of people, like I said, just leave in the comments, what are you watching? What are you reading? What are you doing? Let's give each other some ideas of what we could watch or read because I think we're gonna be home for the long haul. Now, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm really supposed to be working. I'm supposed to be out on my desk, which is not ergonomically suited for the type of work I do. Oh my God, I sit at that dining room table for like two hours and I'm checking emails and, you know, writing letters, which I have to send um, through the email. I used to print them out and, you know, do formal letters where I sign them and all that stuff. Now I just throw them in the email and send them out. But, you know, after like an hour or two in that dining room chair, I, I need a new back. Um, plus, I'm working on this little tiny screen. Uh, like my laptop screen for my YouTube is bigger than my work screen but at work I have two computer monitors but at home I'm forced to look at this itty bitty monitor and it's oh, I know she's suffering I know I know I shouldn't have blamed at least you have a monitor I know but it I'm just saying it's not what I'm used to it so it's weird and so I need to go back out there get my cross stitch out and start staring at the email again. So guys, 
Thanks for coming on this Friday morning journey with me, spending a little time while I chit chat. Um, and I hope to see everybody in Jennifer's live tonight and my live Saturday night, 7 p.m. Central. Take care, everybody. Okay, I gotta find, okay, I found it. Oh my God, had, we had a battery emergency in here this morning. I thought, oh, I hope I have batteries because I didn't stock up on batteries. So FYI, toothpaste and batteries. It's on the shopping list next time I go. So take care, everybody. It's not working. What? What do you mean it's not working? Oh, there it goes. Oh, bye.